you get that one? Hi, everybody. Praise God. This is Prophetina. <laughs> so glad you guys could join in again with us tonight. Awesome. So. Good is... evening. God bless you. <laughs> Praise God. This is a prayer time especially for you. Amen. It's called Power Prayer. Praise God. Jonathan and I, Apostle Jonathan, and I am Prophetina, and we're going to be praying more tonight. Hi, Tony. How you doing? God bless you, woman of God. Praise God. So we're going to be praying tonight, praying on your behalf. This is power prayer time. Praise God. And we know that the scripture tells us man ought always to pray and not to faint. Praise God. Right. And prayer is appropriate in every situation. We are on everyday teaching the word of God, but we thought that we would start praying more on your behalf. And so this is the, the holiday weekend. And I know everybody's, you know, like coming together with their family, getting the, the grill ready, the, you know, the smoker ready, and, you know, just planning to have a great celebration as we m remember those uh, who were in the service who were fallen, you know, in the service uh, of the country. And so we want to pray, praise God, uh, for you and for the country. Praise God, it's that time of, of year that we should be doing that. Um, but in particular, Jonathan has been ex uh, sensing some things that we really need to pray about. Earlier, uh, I was on and I was praying against the spirit of suicide. And so uh, God really moved powerfully in that prayer. And we always pray by faith, believing that what we're praying for, that God is going to answer, all right, according to his word, which says that uh, whatsoever things you desire when you pray, believe that you have received them and you shall have them. And whatsoever things you desire, I mean, just ask. Jesus says to ask. And he says, I'm going to make sure it gets done for you. If you abide in me and my words abide in you, I'm going to make sure, Jesus says, that, that it's going to happen for you. So we have the man of God here with us today. This is Apostle Jonathan. Thank you so much for joining us on Periscope. Uh, those of you that are on live me, live stream, live star, and <laughs> Facebook, our Facebook family. And so, man of God, why don't you just uh, share a few words with us before we pray and then just put what, what's in your heart as far as prayer is concerned. You know, there are times in our lives where we like to do some fun things, you know, especially on holidays. Mm -hmm. Some people like to dress up and, you know, when you have... Uh, children at home they they love to dress up and try on different mm -hmm. clothes and, and and see what things are like but uh, we have a convention in Phoenix this week called the Comic-Con mm -hmm. and I was I had a reason to go down there uh, and decided I would walk through the crowd a little bit mm -hmm. as they were trying to get in and uh, the, there was a long line due to some issues that came up earlier in the week and the Holy Spirit just kind of let me know that some of these people, I'm not saying all of them have, but some of these people are living in a fantasy land. Mm -hmm. And when that happens, when you, when you deny reality, and when you get to the place where uh, your life is so overtaken by some of these things, by comics and, and uh, dressing up like, dressing up like the heroes mm -hmm. and, and that kind of thing, when it becomes a, a way of life, when it becomes something that you're doing uh, to, you know, to escape life, mm -hmm. there, what happens is then there ends up being a spirit of insanity. That comes along uh, with it. Mm -hmm. That comes along with Not it. And real. that's what, that Lack was the, that was what the Holy Spirit revealed to me was that there was a, there was a strong spirit of insanity among some of these people that came. And you know, it's so interesting that you should say that, sweetheart, before you go on. They had a guy on the news, they had him arrested. He had come with all kinds of guns and ammunition. He was taking pictures of the police. He was threatening police people, okay, with their lives, okay? And so they arrested him at the Comic-Con. So there you have it. And when they showed his picture on TV, you could see the demons of insanity all over him. Okay, so we just really want to pray for those of you. Uh, sometimes we have, we, we were just listening to... Uh, a show where there there was a real traumatic event that that happened in their life trauma mm -hmm. and sometimes when we have trauma uh, we can blame God we can uh, call upon 
um, all kinds of, uh, of things, or we could revert to our old ways of life, mm -hmm. the pre-Christian way of life. There are a lot of bad ways to handle trauma, mm -hmm. to handle uh, difficult assignments, to, to handle uh, you know divorce, uh, uh, being a raped. single she mom. Was raped. Uh -huh. she this, was, there you go. Uh, a very bad rape. So you know, uh, she was having some trouble emotionally dealing with it. And there were all kinds of things that could happen with, to her because she didn't want to go to counseling. And the counselor was just explaining that if she doesn't get in counseling, she could even commit suicide. She could have a breakdown. All kinds of things could happen to her unless she talked about the things that had happened to her and got it out through a professional counselor. So we are praying today against the spirit of insanity uh, and other demonic forces uh, that, are, that are coming against the people, the people of God. And so we want to cover um, the, you know, those, those things that happen like they come to your, your town, the civic centers or the, the convention centers, and they have these great big, what do you call it, um, conventions or mm -hmm. conferences. We go to conferences all the time, but when we go to conferences, their conferences all about Jesus, you know? But these people are coming to these conferences, and especially at something like the Comic-Con, they bring their children there, you know, and they're all kinds of dangerous people you know, that, that frequent these kinds of things as the Holy Spirit revealed to Jonathan that a spirit of insanity was resting over that particular gathering, you know? And well, so, and, and, I and, do we're wanna, talking, and we're talking in the spirit realm, okay? This yeah, is the in, the, realm. in the natural, they had one person out of five years that mm -hmm. brought the guns. Mm -hmm. We're not overplaying that. Mm -hmm. We're not saying that, that uh, it's not fun to look at comic books mm -hmm. when you're young and it's not fun to dress up uh, mm -hmm. and things like that. Uh, the, uh, the Jewish tradition has a, a time in the spring where kids get dressed up mm -hmm. in costumes. We've all probably been to costume parties and mm -hmm. things like that. Uh, we're not talking about uh, a healthy uh, fun. Yes. Okay, we're, what we're talking about is when, when something happens and we no longer want to be in reality. Mm -hmm. You know, that's a spirit of insanity. When we, when we want to, uh, you know, of course, uh, in the last, few, what, five, ten years, they say, what's the definition of insanity? Mm -hmm. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting a different result. Mm -hmm. And, uh, you know, the Bible talks uh, all the time about, uh, you know, living in peace and living mm -hmm. in righteousness. Mm -hmm. And there's a number of places where uh, when people go off the deep end, if you will, the Bible says that God will give them over to their own desires. Mm -hmm. And that's walking away from God. And one of the worst things we can do is be left to our own mm -hmm. craziness. Because you know the devil's going to step in. And he's, he's got all kinds of strange ideas for us. Because he doesn't want us to live in peace. Mm -hmm. He doesn't want us to have the joy of the Lord. He doesn't want us to be in the presence of God. And he doesn't want us to think clearly. He wants us to be afraid. He wants us to be shocked. He wants us to be uh, abandoned. Uh, but that's not the way of God. Praise God. Mm -hmm. Do we have any more cords I can use? Yeah, let me see. That one looks like 100% up there. Yeah, use that one. Okay. And so uh, we just want you to know the different levels of insanity. Okay. Different... Uh, levels of thinking that will put you in that, that frame of mind, okay? Okay, push this button here. Let me do it. Okay. okay. Go ahead, just keep talking. Mm -hmm. uh, so different levels, and sometimes our thinking, our thinking is stinking. <laughs> and what happens is the enemy uh, takes hold to some of the thought processes that we have, okay? And we don't even realize that we think it's normal. All right, and so what we want to do is so as we pray, we're going to ask the Holy Spirit to root out those areas in our thinking, okay, and in our mindsets that are contrary to the reality of God, that are contrary to the truth of Jesus Christ. Jesus says, I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life, okay? And so we don't want to believe lies. We don't want to believe things that are half-truths. But we want to yield our members, yield our minds, and yield our thoughts to the thoughts of Christ and the way Christ would think. Remember, we are conforming to his image. And as we are to think on things that are good, of good report, if there be any praise, 
These are the things that we are to think about continually and to put our mind, you know, on these things. And it's a very important thing, you know, that, that to do this as, as Jesus in the word of God has encouraged us to keep our minds on things that are wholesome and pure, not to think evil thoughts, not to allow negative thoughts to pervade, you know, our thinking, okay, but to always yield uh, our negative thoughts, okay, uh, and evil thoughts to yield these things to the holiness of God, yield these things to the truth uh, that God presents to us through Christ Jesus and through his word. And so we are asking the, the Holy Spirit, through the, asking God through the power of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' name to go through your mind, to go through your thinking, and to root out all those things, to pull up roots of bitterness, anger, and hatred, evil thinking, negative thinking, okay, that might uh, be a draw for a spirit of insanity to rest, you know, to rest upon you. And we don't want that to happen. And we know these spirits can manifest in many ways in bondages and addictions, okay, in all kinds of manifestations of demonic forces. Because when you allow these negative thoughts, these evil thoughts, these thoughts that don't have any basis in truth, when you allow these thoughts to take hold of you, then they don't come by themselves, people of God. They come along with a crew, okay? They got a whole crew. They got a whole posse, okay, that they will use, okay, to bring you down and to bring you out, okay? And so, you know, we're not talking about the, well, we are talking about the kind of spirits that will land you in an insane asylum, but before even that happens, mm. it's the little foxes that will spoil the vine. And so God is sending out a blanket of truth, a blanket of his anointing to root out and to pull out these roots uh, that may be there on the inside of you. Now, see, the thing is that most of the time when you have insane thinking, okay, thinking that's not based on truth, you don't even know it. <laughs> it's, the yeah. whole, it's, the, it's for the word of God that's to bring good. out the truths. You don't know. You know, you think that the way you think and the way you do things is cool. Everything that you do is cool and all right. You know, but there are some things that God wants to pull up out of you because he can't get in you even more. So, I mean, he's there, but there's an, another anointing, another grace, another power that he wants to bring you for living, you know, that this stuff, this junk that's on the inside of your thinking, okay, has got to leave in order for God to take up his abode in that place and blow you out even more powerfully. Okay, and so... Well, even the word fan, you know, what's, mm -hmm. the, what's that short for? Fanatic. It's for fanatic. Mm -hmm. And we see people in sports that we become complete fanatics. Mm -hmm. And you know, they won't go to church. Mm -hmm. They'll talk about their sports team for hours mm -hmm. and hours and mm -hmm. hours every mm -hmm. week. Mm -hmm. Even in the off season, they're, they're studying something else. You know, and it, it's, it's amazing how they'll get into those worlds and they won't come out. Mm -hmm. You know, a lot of guys, you know, be when they leave uh, playing sports a lot, uh, they have to make a real adjustment. Mm -hmm. Thank God uh, he allows us to have children. He allows us to grow up and we realize that that's not all there is, mm -hmm. you know, but it's important. We're just, we're, we're, because the Lord spoke that to me uh, as I was down at the, at that convention, uh, with the comic cons, uh, and I, I sense that spirit of insanity. Yes. Uh, we we just want to develop this a little bit. Yeah. You know, we also know that you know we're talking th about this during Memorial Day weekend, and and we know that people that have seen incredible traumas, our soldiers, mm -hmm. uh, have seen unbelievable scenes of death and, mm -hmm. and destruction, mm -hmm. and it can affect them for years. Post traumatic. Stress disorder. Stress disorder. And we're going to be praying PTSD, against that as yeah. well. Because that's a type of insanity. All right? So some of these things we cause ourselves. Mm -hmm. Some of these things are caused by other people coming mm -hmm. against us. Some of these things are caused by uh, traumatic events that happen to mm -hmm. us. But God can heal all of it. He, says he certainly can. Praise God. And that's what we're asking him to do. So we're going to start praying and we're going to ask you to pray with us as well. So and we're not, we're not here to, to find blame. Mm -hmm. we, we're here to try to help you pinpoint the, the cause 
of some of this escapism, mm -hmm. the cause of not wanting to be a part of reality, mm -hmm. the, pause, the, the causes that would keep us from experiencing the kingdom of God and go forth in a healthy life, in a healthy way. A uh, place that God has for you in a very healthy way. So we're calling on the health of God. Praise God. We're calling on the peace of God for you. Praise God, which surpasses all understanding. We're calling so you're talking about peace, thoughts. we're talking about health, we're mm -hmm. talking about deliverance. Mm -hmm. We're talking about a lot of different things. Uh, just in this, that, that whatever the causes this uh, craziness, mm -hmm. this, this spirit of insanity that mm -hmm. can come on us. you got to remember little things that we do that leads us astray, that leads us off the... Uh, the narrow path. You remember, mm -hmm. Jesus said, broad is the way that leads to destruction, narrow is the way that leads to life. And so we're actually looking for God's narrow way. Mm -hmm. And why? Because that it's God's way. Amen. And we're not talking about this to, to try to put everybody's fun down. We nope. try to... Not at all. You know, it's when the fun becomes... A, a habit when, yeah. the, when the fun starts taking over your life then there are friends that come along <laughs> there, there are extra yeah, extras huh? yeah Maybe extras <laughs> then, then the demonic takes over and it, it's not something that happens one in one day mm -hmm. one event it's, it's, it's you know even even in a traumatic event it doesn't usually happen that day it can take it's the it's not dealing with with the the issues and not dealing with the trauma to the place and then you just want to escape you, and, and some people even get to the place where they they want to kill themselves mm -hmm. and and they we, want to take the final escape the permanent yeah, escape and we're here to pray for you to encourage you to say to god loves you and you don't need to escape he does want you to talk it over with mm -hmm. him how to do it and of course let's let's talk about uh, for most of this we're going to deal with in prayer most of this we know that God has not given us a spirit of fear but of power and love and a sound mind yes praise God mm -hmm. and so we go to that and there's just so many things that we want to do oh that's what I was I was thinking about uh, talking to other people it's great if you can talk to a professional it's great if you can talk to somebody who's been through it uh, unfortunately, the church has is, is, uh, been judged and been known for gossip, and, uh, and that's a terrible thing. I wish we would get rid of it because there are so many things like this um, that start out rather innocently and become uh, escapism, mm -hmm. and instead of helping people and praying for people mm -hmm. and encouraging people, mm -hmm. we're laughing at them behind their back yeah. and we're talking about them behind their back yeah. and not praying for them and loving them right. and helping them through these situations. Right, right. so uh, escapism as it relates to insanity, the spirit of insanity. Okay, praise God. There's a point at which you, you need to get away and you need to have a rest, but there's another point you know, at which you can go over the line, you know, and it's too much. And so, Olga, thank you so much for joining us this evening. We appreciate you on Facebook. Praise God. We know that it's late here uh, in the Phoenix area, but uh, we thought that we would uh, just go on and, uh, and uh, talk tonight about uh, post-traumatic stress syndrome. We're going to be playing again. Uh, no, post-traumatic stress disorder yeah. in our, that happens to our servicemen because it is Memorial Day. And, uh, we did have a friend that passed away recently who had that disorder, a Marine. And fought for about 15 years, as mm -hmm. I recall. Yeah, a long time. It was a long time. To get over from the things that he had seen and had gone through in war. Had been a, a prisoner of war as well, and he got five Purple Hearts. So we thank the Lord for all of our, our, our service people who have gone uh, in and uh, risked their lives so that we could be safe here. Amen. And so we thank God for them, and we thank God for their service, and we just want to pray. We want to do some power praying tonight, you know, against insanity. Okay? In the name of Jesus. Uh, it's Insanity is the major heading that we're giving a lot of little foxes that will spoil your vine, okay? <laughs> Praise God. Uh, insanity as the root cause of depression, as the root cause, you know, of, um, of uh, oppression and uh, other kinds of spirits that come along when you are oppressed and that you, um, you know, um, have different things that you will do to get rid of it. I mean, it shows in certain things that you do like cutting and 
or smoking or drinking or um, drugs, you know, those kinds of things, okay? Uh, and a lot of times, even after you stop those habits, some of those familiar spirits, you know, that were with you as a result of the, that caused you to do those kinds of things still linger. And they're still waiting to pounce on you again. So we're going to do a total prayer uh, this evening. Praise God. Hallelujah. So we're going to have the apostles start us off in prayer. And then I will join in Jesus' name. Amen. Power prayer. We're going to start off with post-traumatic stress disorder uh, in honor of our veterans and in honor of those who have, uh, who have gave their lives uh, uh, protecting uh, our country. In Jesus' name. Heavenly Father, we thank you that we can come to you anytime. And tonight we're coming to you about these, the spirit that comes over people, a uh, spirit of insanity, that escapism. Oh, Heavenly Father, we thank you for bringing this subject up because a lot of us have been through uh, traumatic incidents and some of us have been divorced. Some of us have had uh, parents leave us, uh, abandonment and fears and uh, we rejection. pray re rejection and we pray right now for our soldiers that have seen things that they wish they had never seen who have nightmares uh, on a nightly basis who, who keep seeing those incidents over and over and over again people that have been in prison and and relive those awful situations over and over again heavenly father i pray your peace would be upon them how to do you that you would you have sent you the most important one. That's the, the Holy Jesus. Spirit, Thank our comforter, Jesus. hallelujah, Thank and our counselor hallelujah. to come and be with us at such a time. Thank you, Jesus. And Lord, I just pray right now if they need to talk to somebody or they need to walk through some of these things with somebody who's been there before, yes, Lord. we pray that, that those doors would open and they would seek out the help mm -hmm. they need. But most of all, Lord, I pray that, that you would heal their mind, heal their yes. heart, Heal them from those traumas and those events that they've seen and heard and been whispered to. We know there are people that hear all kinds of, of voices. There, there are people that, that need great deliverance. Yes, and we Lord. just speak deliverance now yes, in the mighty name in of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. Praise God. Hallelujah. We Take thank you, Father. We cover everyone that's watching tonight uh, in the blood of Jesus. We want to first uh, pray for our servicemen and women. And we are coming against the spirit of insanity that has attacked their minds because of the hurts and the traumas that they've gone through, the things that the devastating things that they've seen in the midst of war that they haven't been able to get over. But Lord, I'm asking you to have mercy on them tonight. Have mercy. Now, if you know someone who has post-traumatic stress disorder, put them in your heart and mind right now and pray for them with us. Cover them in the blood of Jesus. Draw a bloodline around them and command the spirit of insanity to get off of them. Oh, command the spirits of trauma to leave their emotions and speak the peace of Jesus into their emotions in the name of Jesus. Just like Jesus, you know, healed and, and God sent mercy to the demoniac man in, at the Gadarenes, okay? That Jesus spoke life to him. He commanded the demons to leave him and then God showed mercy on him and delivered him on the spot. Oh, this man was whacked out crazy. I mean, sleeping among the dead people, cutting himself daily, screaming and screeching and, uh, all night all long. And he had superhuman strength where nobody was strong enough to keep him in chains. And the chains that they bound him with could not hold him. He would break those even. And as soon as he saw the glory that was upon our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, as soon as Jesus came into the territory, he knew who Jesus was. This man was uh, possessed by a legion of demons that caused him to be insane, that caused him to be crazy, uh, you know, just crazy, out of his mind, crazy, okay? But as soon as something on the inside of him recognized the glory that was in Christ Jesus, there was something on the inside of him that was crying out for the truth, crying out for the power of God, that even though, um, you know, he was messed up with these demonic forces that caused his mind uh, to be gone, he knew the peace of God when he saw it. He knew the Prince of Peace when he saw him and came and uh, threw himself down at Jesus' feet. Hallelujah. 
And so we just praise God for the power that Jesus has assigned to us even. He said, greater works that I have done that you shall do, but you shall do the works that I have done. And as we conform to the image of Christ, that power and anointing and glory that God assigned to the Son, to Jesus Christ, to heal the crazy demoniac man, hallelujah, we are sending the same anointing, the same mercy to those of our brothers and sisters who are suffering from post-traumatic stress disorder right now in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. If Jesus can heal the demoniac, hallelujah, and, and send legions, 12,000 demons in this man, legions of demons out of him, and he was delivered in his right mind with clothes on. The man wouldn't even keep clothes on himself. He was, he was so messed up and out of his mind. And I don't believe that none of us have gone to that place yet, Hallelujah, or me even, even know someone that has gone to that place. But even if you do, there's power through Christ Jesus to heal and to deliver. The mercy of God was extended to this man. Praise God. And so we thank God for this story. Hallelujah. We thank God for his delivering power. We thank God for the disciples, Luke and Mark, who included it in the Gospels. It was a very important deliverance. It was a very important anointing. And so we're calling forth the anointing of deliverance right now in the name of Jesus. And we're commanding every unclean spirit that has attached itself, hallelujah, to you, to your family member, to your friend, to your brother, to your sister. Right now in Jesus' name, we command them to go in Jesus' name. Go in Jesus' name. Every spirit of destruction every spirit of untruth, every spirit of lies, every insane spirit that has attached itself, hallelujah, to God's people, we command you to go in the name of Jesus, hallelujah. And even the familiar spirits that travel with the spirit of insanity, this man had legions of demons, many, many of them, a horde of them all ganged up all together in this one man. It didn't say how he got them, it didn't say where they came from. All we know is that he had them and God showed mercy upon him and delivered him from each and every one of them. So much so that he, the next time Jesus saw him, he was sitting up clothed in his right mind, in his right mind, wanting to follow Jesus. But Jesus instructed him, no, you stay here with your family. Go to your family and tell your family what great things God has done for you. Praise God. Hallelujah. Go forth and give the testimony. God is a great God. And the things that God did for that demoniac, that crazy man living out among the dead, uh, dead, uh, the dead, okay, God showed mercy to him. And that's what we're calling on, our merciful God. Oh, Lord, have mercy on those who have post traumatic stress disorder. Have mercy on them tonight. We're sending your ministering angels. We're sending your mercy. We're sending your glory. We're sending your power. We're sending uh, the power of Jesus Christ that he has assigned to us. We're sending that power that they would, that post-traumatic stress disorder would be broken by way of a miracle, by way of your hand, God, by way of your mercy. And we speak it. It is so, oh, hallelujah. It is so, and it is done. In the name of Jesus, it is done. Hallelujah. We pray the peace of Jesus over these men and women. Hallelujah. We pray the peace of Jesus over our service people right now. The peace of Jesus. Flood your mind and heart and be delivered and be set free. Our veterans, be delivered and be set free. You, you fought for this country. Praise God. You, you, uh, you, um, you know, gave your life for this country. And so we're asking now, as we give back to you, we're giving you the glory of God. You know, what I have, I'm going to give to you. And that's the power of God for you to be delivered. Uh, the, what I have, I've read it in the scriptures. You can have it too. It is the power of God, the mercy of God, which is fresh every day to break every yoke, to break every demonic force, to break every chain, you know, that has come against you in the name of Jesus. Jonathan, thank you so much for being with us. Uh, this evening. Praise God. We're praying the power prayer of God and we're coming against post-traumatic stress disorder in our service people. And not only that, now we're praying against the spirits of insanity right now that have lodged themselves upon these, these traumas that people have gone through. And we want to break the bitterness, break the curses right now in Jesus' name, the curse of insanity. We rebuke you in the name of Jesus. We send the angels of God's retribution and the angels of God's destruction to destroy your seat, 
to destroy your place. Get up and move. We command you to go out of the hearts and out of the minds of people. Angels that are assigned to fight against insanity and all of its different levels in our thoughts and our thinking, okay, in the way we do things. Uh, we come against right now even generational familiar spirits that have come down on the bloodline, hallelujah, of insanity, uh, of lack of peace, of turmoil, of anxiousness, of worry, of dread, you know, of bondages and of addictions. We come against all of these spirits that are promoted, hallelujah, under the cover, you know, of the, the, the heading of insanity. We want your thinking to be clear. We want your thinking to be right. We want your thinking to be pure pure through Christ Jesus. Jesus said, you know, to, you know, the word of God tells us to think on these things, okay? Whatsoever things are pure, if they have any, if they're praiseworthy, if they're of good report, these are the things that we are to dwell on. And so I'm asking you by the power of that word, Father, your angels that are assigned to that word, your ministering spirits that are assigned to that word, that you would go forth to the minds and hearts of people and blow out the, the demonic forces, blow out the demonic thinking, blow out the depressed thinking, blow out the erroneous error uh, thinking and bring forth your truth in those places, Father, and reestablish your people, rebuild them upon your truth, not upon lies, not upon trauma, not upon insane thinking. Okay, Father, right now in the name of Jesus, and I say, let it be done. And it is done in Jesus' name. Praise God. As you were praying, I was thinking about those institutions that should be the most trustworthy of all. Mm -hmm. It starts with the family. And if some of us have had broken families or a parent that wasn't there or people that were put in foster care, sometimes that causes great uh, pressure and trouble and, and all kinds of different things. Mm -hmm. And likewise, uh, we should be able to trust our government, but we find so many abuses mm -hmm. that we end up not being able to trust them. We should be able to trust the church, but we just see hypocrisy. We, we see so many examples of abuse, mm -hmm. so many examples of, of people not living up to what Jesus has called us to. Mm -hmm. And so those very areas, family, church, government, educate schools mm -hmm. where we should be able to trust uh, now we're not able to and so then what do we do our reaction to that so so easily can end up to the place instead of being able to trust God instead of being able to trust these institutions now we just want to pull them off we just I don't even want to think about it I don't want to I don't want to deal in reality. Mm -hmm. I, I just want, I don't want to have to ever think about them again. Mm -hmm. And so instead of praying for them, we end up being the ones that are abused by them. We're the ones that ends up on the short end of the stick because we found out that Jesus is for real mm -hmm. and the Holy Spirit is with us. But if we can't trust the church, we can't trust families, we can't trust these institutions that we should mm -hmm. have confidence in and should be able to trust, then, then we hurt, then we're shocked, and we're, we're troubled, and, and that can lead to insanity. Absolutely. You know, you learn, you know, you're, you're, you know a family member did something mm -hmm. that was way out of character, and it mm -hmm. blows you out of the water, mm -hmm. you know. We're and coming then, against incest right now. That's one of them, yeah. That's one of the end things that we're coming against that, and the traumas of that, okay? And so what, what the Holy Spirit is, is letting me know is that there are things that have happened in your lives. God wants to bring more power to you, more power for life. After that, the Holy Ghost has come upon you. You shall receive power where well, you have power. And God wants to even turn you on even more to his grace and to, to his power. However, there are things that are on the inside of you and you're on your soul and in your thinking that are blocking, um, you know, the, the, the purpose and plan of God in you. Okay, God wants to, to straighten you out. 100 percent 100 percent and there are uh, erroneous thinking uh, bad thoughts bad uh, building blocks that you have in your in your psyche and in your understanding and on your soul as to the reason why you do some of the things that you do and you say some of the things that you say and even live the way that you live and some of these things you're not even aware of but god is saying that 
He is sending in the Holy Spirit now. He's sending in a blanket of his peace on the inside of you, and he's pulling out those hidden ideas, those hidden understandings, those hidden things, traumas that, that were the building blocks of your personality and character that caused you to have an erroneous personality in certain areas, okay? And so he said he's going in now with the power of the Holy Ghost, and he's pulling out all that junk and all that stuff, the holes on your soul that are keeping him, uh, keeping your foundation uh, in him from being sure and solid. And he's going in right now to destroy the works of the evil one, to pull that stuff out so that he can redo you in power and in strength and in the right mind and with right thinking in Jesus name. You mentioned false personalities. Mm -hmm. you know, some, some of us that are living be, away because somebody told us we should live that way, mm -hmm. but that's mm -hmm. not really who we are on the inside. We haven't discovered our gifts or who we are. Mm -hmm. and, and so we're living this false world. Mm -hmm. You know, some people really get into it and, and, and they don't feel free. Mm -hmm. And you know, Jesus came to, to give us the truth and with the truth, freedom. Mm -hmm. Okay? Absolutely. So that's where we want to be. We want to be in the truth, and we want to be free. How do they, That's the kind of life Christ wants for us. Amen. He wants us to have abundant life. Amen. How do they, the world tells us that these jobs are worth millions and millions of dollars, and these jobs aren't even worth minimum wage, mm -hmm. and yet God says, I've created you to be valuable in every wherever situation. you are I know. hallelujah so in that sense we have a very twisted system yes we do you know, on the other hand mm -hmm. I'm, I'm not ever saying that we shouldn't work as hard as we can mm -hmm. work we shouldn't get all the education we mm -hmm. shouldn't have all the wisdom that we can that's not what i'm talking about but the way the world this capitalistic world is uh especially in the west is set up is that uh, this has great value and this has no value mm -hmm. or very little value. Mm -hmm. And that's not always the way God sees us. No, absolutely Amen? Not. So no, we want to have value. Not. I personally think ministers and teachers have a lot of value. And yet many, many, many times, those are the ones with the very, very low uh, income. Mm -hmm. You know, there are other areas that are, that are like that. We have people that are very pleasant and can help in the service industry and... Uh, they, they found out over the years some people can be pleasant a lot easier than others. You know? <laughs> and we need them in the service industry, but because there's a number of us, they're like, well, we're not going to pay them anything. We're going to give the scientists the money, or we're going to give the oil people the money. Uh, we're going to give basketball players the money, you know, uh, sports teams the money. Mm -hmm. uh, but this is where... Uh, because the world is set up in a situ situation doesn't mean you have to value yourself doesn't mean that God doesn't value you in mm -hmm. a very different way right. so we want to remember it's insanity to think the way the way the world does many times many times I mean there are times we have to slap ourselves up the head and say you know get over it you, you weren't hired for that job get over it you didn't get uh, chosen for that mm -hmm. uh, act, chosen to be an actress in this play, or mm -hmm. chosen to be on this team, or yeah. or picked. You know, th there there are tough things in life, mm -hmm. and we we got to deal with those and move mm -hmm. on. Learn from our mistakes, learn from our weaknesses, learn from all the no's we get, yeah. Yeah. learn from our failures. You know, we're not talking about that. We're we're talking about. What happens when there's a spirit of insanity? What, what, what makes us flip the switch? What makes mm -hmm. people live on the streets where the, there's no fight anymore? Mm -hmm. You know, what makes people want to wear costumes uh, day in and day out? You know, it, it's, and there are many different things like that. It, it's, it's one thing, to, like I say, it's one thing to have fun with it. It's another thing when you're, when you're overtaken by it. You know, the, the question is, is it, are you enjoying it or is it enjoying you? You know, is, is the world wrapping you into its mold? No, we want the Lord Jesus to create, to uh, free us to be all that he's created us to be. Amen? Absolutely. Praise God. So let's just pray to that end real quick. Yes. Heavenly Father, we know that you've created us beautiful. And we thank you for any times that we have not valued ourselves, valued one another, uh, because of the way the systems of this world uh, place their values. We just pray that 
uh, number one, you would forgive us for doing Absolutely. it wrong. And number yeah. two, that you would help us to see ourselves with the value that you've given us Amen. and to take quite care of one another uh, as, as the need is there. In Jesus' name. Amen. And so right now, in the name of Jesus, all those places on the inside of you that God wants to get to, all the traumas, all the fears, you know, all the apprehensions, all the things that happened to you as a child, no more excuses because God is sending in a power anointing, a power anointing of his peace to deliver you and to set you free. God is a God of mercy and he's sending forth the mercy to deliver you in the name of Jesus from all those traumas. If you would just yield yourself, you know, to the power of the Holy Ghost, if you would yield yourself to the word of God, God is present here with us this evening. He is present with you as you are a believer and he wants to destroy all of the works of the enemy, all of the works of the evil one in your life, okay, around you and in you, in Jesus' name, and even in your thinking. And so God is going to blow your brain out. You hear what I'm saying? And what that means is it's going to blow out all the erroneous thinking that you have, okay? And he's going to come, you know, with revelation and with rhema word to you based on the scriptures. He's going to teach you and he's going to show you his right way. Now as the Lord comes, don't be afraid and receive what the Lord is saying because suddenlies are going to happen. Yes, suddenly one day you're going to be thinking one way on a certain subject and the next day you're going to be thinking another way. And that is the suddenly of the Lord cleansing you out and purging you and blowing out the power of his word on the inside of you. Okay, the word of God is powerful and is sharper than any two-edged sword, able to divide asunder the soul and the spirit and the bone and the marrow, and God is bringing the power anointing. I see, I hear power drive. He's going to be power driving, you know, through your life. Hallelujah. Through your past, through your present, so that your future will be on stable ground. So your future will have a better foundation in him, spiritually, um, mentally, and physically, in the name of Jesus. So right now, we're coming against uh, all those crises that you have gone through, the crisis in life that have left you defeated and beat down. And we're calling God now to blow you up and to blow you out and to restore you and to refurbish you, you know, and to make you that brand new person that he promised because all things work together for good to those who are called, you know, according to his purpose. Praise God. And we thank you, Father, that you are working everything uh, for good, for good. And we call forth that good anointing, that good, that anointing, for good right now in the name of Jesus. Oh, hallelujah. Blow yourself out in us, Lord. Blow yourself out in your people. And as you blow your peace through us, move out every unclean spirit, every unclean thought, every spirit of insanity, every spirit of depression, every spirit of heaviness, you know, every familiar spirit that's followed us down through the generations. We rebuke and bind every generational curse and every lie that was spoken over us that would cause us uh, to come to these stumbling blocks and these walls where we can't get by. But Father, your word says that Jesus has broken down every wall, every wall of partition or the middle wall of partition, hallelujah, has been broken down and we can have access to the Holy of Holies. And we're coming before you, Father, to the Holy of Holies, into the throne room, Father. And we're asking you in boldness. We're seeking you for mercy and grace in the time of need. And in this time of need, these spirits of insanity that have inflicted your people, no matter what level they're on, we're asking you, Father, to come now like a mighty rushing wind and blow forth your breath, the very breath, your very breath from heaven. The angels of your breath come forth and blow away everything in us ungodlike, everything, every thought in us, every hidden thought, every hidden understanding. Hallelujah. And bring it out into the foreground and skim it and scrape it away in the name of Jesus. So what we will stand as we stand before you will be pure as refined gold, that we would be the purest the purest and the holiest before you, Father, because we want to go on to do all that you've called us to do. We want to go on in all the power and glory that has been manifested in this time and this age through Christ Jesus. We want it all, and we don't want anything in our minds and hearts standing in the way. So blow away in your one breath every spirit of insanity. We command you to go in the name of Jesus. Blow in the name of Jesus. Blow. Praise God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Oh, 
hallelujah. Thank oh, the you for blood your of deliverance, Jesus. Lord. Thank oh, you for your mercy. Oh, the blood of Jesus. Thank you for your oh. kindness. Thank you that you don't want us hiding under any rock. Yes, you want Lord. us to be oh, set free. Glory to God. There's hallelujah. nothing that Thank can you, separate oh. us from the love of God. Not height, nor depth, nor any created thing. Oh, nothing, nothing. The devil can't. How do you can separate us from the love of God? Which is he Christ loves Jesus. you. He loves you. <laughs> and after that, he loves you. You know, the Bible says that uh, he foreknew that after he built the, after the children of Israel built the temple and they were, they were so proud and, and other times in the Old Testament when they had another temple, it was like a tent. And he said, you're going to end up messing up. You're going to end up being scattered from here. Mm -hmm. You're going to be lost in all kinds of places. But if you'll remember, mm -hmm. come to your senses and call upon me. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, we know 2 Chronicles 7, 14. Uh, if my people, which are called by my name, shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven forgive their sins, and heal their land. Amen. That promises to you, brothers and sisters, that promises to us that whenever we feel whacked out, we, the spirit of insanity tries yeah. to get on us, we just look to him. How to do, you know, there was a terrible the problem. There was a terrible problem in the, in the desert as they were crossed the Red, the children of Israel had escaped Egypt. They crossed the Red Sea there were snakes, and then there was a, 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 a terrible sickness that came on them. Mm -hmm. And they said, you put this snake up on a pole, and Hemorrhoids. whenever you look mm -hmm. and put that, over that snake on a pole, mm -hmm. you're going to be healed and mm -hmm. delivered from that illness. Mm -hmm. Praise God. And even today, when you look at the, uh, doctors. the doctor's medical symbol, that's what it is. Mm -hmm. It's that snake on a pole. But why? It's because God made a promise to the people of Israel, mm -hmm. if you'll look at this pole, I will remember and I will heal you. Mm -hmm. And he still says that today. If you call upon me and Jesus. seek me with Bless all of Jesus. your heart, he'll let you find him. <laughs> and we know that not only that, but he said the kingdom of God is this close. It's, it's at hand. It's within reach. Amen. If you'll call upon mm -hmm. him, he'll reach out to you if you'll reach out to him. Amen. Amen. Praise God. And, so. and then in Revelation, one more time, he says... Mm -hmm. You know, if you're lukewarm, if you're, I'll if you're, you things are, are going to be mm -hmm. bad. But he says, I, I stand at the door and knock. Mm -hmm. And if any man hears yes. my voice and opens the door, yes. I will come into him and, yes. and have dinner with him and he with yes. me. The Lord wants to spend time with you. He doesn't want you to be yes. alone. He's calling you and saying, I'm knocking. Come on in. <laughs> Praise God. Praise God. And so we're going to blow the breath of God upon you. And God wants you to be reminded that he is blowing his breath upon you praise god and the breath is a breath of refreshing oh hallelujah hallelujah receive that anointing mm, i receive it <sighs> praise god receive the holy spirit amen. receive his amen. refreshing amen. and god Woo. be with you receive his deliverance today oh god is so good praise god i'm prophet tina I'm Apostle Jonathan. And we are Jericho Way Ministries. Thank you so much for joining with us uh, on this uh, this prayer time, the power prayer here late uh, uh, on, on the, Sunday night. Yeah, Sunday night, Memorial Day weekend. And so uh, you have a great uh, holiday tomorrow. Celebrate uh, the glory of God that he woke you up for another day to see another, another year to see another Memorial Day. And so we remember, not only do we remember our soldiers, but we remember, as Jonathan said, what God said to us. Praise God. If God remembered us, we remember him and that he is a God of deliverance. He is a God of mercy. He is a God of healing. Praise God. Hallelujah. And we thank him uh, for all of that as we remember our father. Hallelujah. Put him in remembrance, you know, and, and just remember that he is the God of peace. Oh, hallelujah. And we speak peace to you. The peace of Jesus, which uh, surpasses all understanding. Go in peace. Praise God. Shalom. Shalom. Good night.